You rest. I'll stand guard. Uh-oh. It looks like the patients have surrounded Natasha. Let's hear what they're saying. What are you saying, Doctor? The wonder medicine is out of supply? Correct. That medicine is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wildfire has cut off the supply chain. Your ailments need rational, scientific treatment. Relying on pseudo-medicines will only worsen your condition. <laughs> rational and scientific, huh? The way I see it, you're just jealous you lost your patience. Oh, how dare you speak to Dr. Natasha like that? Where are your manners? Ma'am, please, think for a moment. How can you still be siding with her? That wonder medicine was working fine for us, and now it's gone because she wants it to be? How can she... I understand your anger, but as your doctor, I ask you to trust my judgment. I will find a way to access more medical resources and help you through your struggles. If I must, I'll get help from the surface. The surface. Hm. I almost forgot that you were an overworld big shot. Have some respect for Dr. Natasha. Okay, I think this guy is a lost if cause. respect she wants, she better find a replacement for the wonder medicine fast. If not, I'll tell everyone about how she set up Dr. Bash. Oh, what's this now? I'm out of here. Oh, you're here. I apologize. That must have made for uncomfortable viewing. Mm, I'm okay. If I were in his shoes, I may well have had the same reaction. Now I need to focus on treating the patients and dispelling their doubts. Let's leave it for now. I'll feel a lot better once I've gotten rid of this mess that Vash left us. Now's as good a time as any to tell you yes, Vash's please. whole story. If there's anything you want to know, don't hesitate to ask. No, mm. but I used to think we were so close that we may as well have been. Okay. I, uh, actually grew up in the orphanage. It wasn't until I was adopted by an overworld family that life changed for me. My adoptive mother always saw me as her own flesh and blood, and Vash loved me like a sister. That is, while we were still young. My adoptive parents belonged to a prominent medical family. As kids, we were exposed to all kinds of medical texts. When we were older, both of us got straight into Bellabog's medical school. We were on a path into the medical profession. He was gentle and introverted. But when it came to work, he could be absurdly obsessive. Like a completely different person. Whenever I made a mistake in an experiment, he'd bite my head off. And then a while later, he'd apologize and comfort me. He was... Conflicted in that way. I didn't know he had leftover reagents in Rivet Town. I was shocked when you told me. If you fail to make a clean break with the past, the past creeps up on you. <laughs> yep, it sure does. <sighs> That's a long story. Ever since he was little, Vash had always wanted to develop a medicine called Blizzard Immunity. He saw the human body's vulnerability to cold as a disease and wanted to cure it so that humanity could survive the eternal freeze. If he succeeded, people would be able to leave Bellabog and rebuild their homes in the snow plains. Well, not really, because it's still the fragmentum, right? I do admire his vision and perseverance, even though Blizzard immunity always seemed unachievable to me. I knew his research in the overworld wasn't going well. 
I used to write to him and ask him to come down and stay with the kids in the orphanage for a while. I thought it might help take his mind off his research. But I was too young to know what long-term frustration could do to a person. It changed him in a terrible way. During his stay in the underworld, he met patients affected by fragmentum corrosion with mild symptoms. Compared with non-patients, their bodies reacted differently to hot and cold. And that fascinated Fash. He began to simulate mild fragmentum corrosion, thinking that it could lead to breakthroughs in developing blizzard immunity. Those reagents of his aren't cure-alls for critical illness. That doesn't exist. Fash made the reagents to mitigate the suffering of his patients in the short term. A convenient way for him to observe changes in his test subjects. But behind my back, he had been doling out the reagents to residents who were kept in the dark. When it finally struck me that something was wrong, his terrible research had already turned him into... ...into a madman. Indeed. And it all happened under my nose. How ridiculous. My judgment was clouded by trust in a loved one. Well, you wouldn't be when the his first experiments were that exposed, happened. I spent a long time with Oleg discussing how to handle the aftermath. This was shortly before the underworld was sealed off. There were hardly any Silvermane guards remaining. We spent ages trying to find a way to handle Vash. In the end, Oleg suggested that we banish him and permanently deny him access to the Underworld. Had his victims found out the truth, Vash would have been torn to pieces by furious Underworlders. I was... young and weak at the time. Oleg must have worried about how I'd react to such a scenario, or he wouldn't have suggested banishment. I hope so. The day I learned the truth was the day I no longer recognized my brother. But he might still be alive. Oleg and I took Vash to the overworld. He made his final request to us. To take him outside the city to the snow plains he'd always wanted to conquer. His figure gradually disappeared into the snow curtain. <laughs> I've been telling myself that Vash is dead ever since. Forgive me. I'm not good at telling stories. Vash was a terrible brother and a worse doctor. That's all you need to know. Let's call it a day. Thank you for cleaning up the mess my brother left behind. Oh, maybe. Here. For your he trouble. is still alive, somehow. Alright, that's another one down. It really just leaves this. I am a bit burnt out from these quests. Because there's very little fighting and a lot of talking. And we're not that much closer. Well, now what? Sorry to bother you, I haven't quite got the hang of this little thing yet. Can you come down to the clinic when you have time? Another follow-up quest or something? Thank you. When you're leading an organization like Wildfire, like Wildfire, it's easy to forget that everyone needs someone to rely on. Thanks for making me have this feeling again. Lizard immunity. Oh man, okay. Listening. Oh, how rude! And you should have called me Pitch Dark. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Thank you for helping Hook find the detector. But now Hook needs to ask you another favor. Hook and Daddy's birthday is approaching. Every year at this time, we exchange gifts and celebrate our birthday Wait. together. Birthdays on the same day? Yeah. Yeah. What's the problem? 
job has been more difficult since moving to Boulder Town. He gets home really late every day. I don't want to use his hard-earned money to buy a gift. Uh. <laughs> hey, are you patronizing me? Not at all. Actually, I still have some valuable treasure of my own in Rivet Town. <laughs> it's a shame I left it there. If I go bring it back and sell it for a decent price, I can buy a gift for Daddy without begging anyone for money. Oh, what nonsense! <laughs> this is an order from the boss of the moles. An order. And I'm still a kid. You wouldn't let me go inside the fragmentum by myself, would you? Then it's settled. Let's meet in Rivet Town. I'll be waiting for you in a safe spot. You're not allowed to not come. Fine. Books, treasure. What do you mean? Been waiting here for ages. <laughs> I literally came straight away. Oh, uh, okay. Whatever you say. As long as you're here now, it's fine. I got some good news and some bad news. Which do you want to hear first? The bad. I told the rest of the moles about the plan, and Julian asked me to get some treasure for him. If we don't help him, he'll tell the old witch where we've gone. Wow. I thought the he was one of your underlings. He's willing to contribute to our adventure. Look, he gave me this gardening shovel. What the? What are we going to do with that? <laughs> no, what nonsense. No, nobody scares Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Well, the treasure won't grow legs and find us, will it? Come on, let's go. Probably gonna be something completely worthless that you won't be able to sell. Oh. Yeah, let's teleport way faster. Julian's adoptive parents used to own a business in this area. When they were all forced to leave the town, there were lots of things they didn't have time to take with them, so. Shouldn't be too hard to locate his treasure. Let's... Ah, we found Julian's treasure. <laughs> no, not the key. Last marbles. Last oh, marbles. no. Look at all the different colors. But it wasn't easy collecting all these. No, these marbles are what he's after. Well, maybe oh, we should take the key then. What is this key open? Oh, let's ask Julian when we get back. <laughs> Hey, but what about your treasure? What's that look on your face? Oh, I get it. You don't think this jar of glass marbles is worth anything, I sure right? don't. Let me tell you something. This jar of marbles means a lot to the moles. Okay. Julian used it to help the moles overcome a super huge crisis for which he was promoted to second in command. It was a super huge crisis that jeopardized the mole's honor. In the past, the kids in town were arch rivals to us at the orphanage. Those kids used to bully us, relying on the pocket money that their parents gave them. Wait, but you... One time, they sent us a formal declaration of war, challenging the moles to a but she has a father. competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. We at the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road. Which are no match for those rich kids' marbles. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge. And triumphantly returned with a pile of colorful glass marbles he won. It was incredible. After that epic story, that's all you have to say? Well, sorry. Uh, I would have been better off telling Stone Grilled Olm instead. All right, enough chit chat. Next, we need to find my treasure. Time to get to work. 
Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. This doesn't feel like the rivet town I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now, too? This place is nothing like it was before I left. Boxes and mine carts are all over the street. Oh, what a mess. Oh, did someone move my treasure too? Potentially. I used to keep it in the mining team's junk pile. Behind the corner, there were heaps of geomarrow and boxes. Oh, hopefully it hasn't been taken. I'll look with you. We'll definitely find it if we work together. Oh, what's this? Uh, look, it's in this box. This miniature drill rig was given to me by a guy from Daddy's mining team as a birthday present. <laughs> miniature drill rig. Come on now. Honorary member? Um, I wonder. How much do you think Julian's glass model Not a lot. <laughs> Did you think I was serious? I wasn't actually planning on selling these marbles. <laughs> Besides, they aren't even worth much. Not as much as Diggertron, but that guy who gave it to me was pretty skillful. He could always make fancy things. Not possible. Daddy said that guy went missing one day and he never saw him again. Maybe he went someplace far away. I have no idea when he'll come back, so that definitely won't work. Oh, wait a second! I hid another treasure at the orphanage! I don't want to sell it, but if I want to buy Daddy a gift, I don't have any other choice. Honorary member, please, please help me look for it. Just one more time. Fine. <laughs> I'll look fine, exactly. Enemies, finally. Here. We need to deal with them first. Gladly. They're also weak. where I stashed the treasure. It's a reward from the old witch. <laughs> You'll know what it is after I dig it up. Go down the stairs on the left, then walk 10 paces forward. Turn right, walk another 15 paces, spin around 10 times, then keep walking forward. What the hell? Oh no! I'm doomed! The second half of my notes are completely Without the second half of my notes, how will I ever find the treasure? Uh, really? Quick, let me see. Let's use the home use object finder to help Hook search. Oh, findy. Beep, beep, beep. Findy, the home use object finder at your service. Please say the target object you want to search for. Oh, wow. <laughs> this little thing, it, it can talk? Wow, you can talk as well, little thing. Huh, aren't you sassy? But, if you can help me find my treasure, I'll let it slide. Uh, clearly it's right here, yes? Hmm. What's this? Oh, looks like 
something is written on it. For Julian, 50 years in the future. Well, what? Whatever. Since we've already dug it up, let's open it. I guess you're right. We should wait 50 years before opening it. Let's take it back to Julian along with the glass marbles. Julian's time capsule. Oh. So that wasn't a time. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel person. Oh, here it is. My teddy bear. The old witch gave it to me as a gift. You... You buried it? Hey, don't underestimate Jun Jun. Whoa, Jun Jun. How did you get covered in dirt? You buried it. Why do you have so many loose threads? Didn't, didn't you? If we don't get you cleaned up, no one will buy you. The old witch said that Jun Jun isn't just any old teddy bear. He'll be worth a lot of money once he's cleaned up. <sighs> There's no other way. I haven't learned to sew yet. I'll have to ask the old witch for help. If she finds out I went somewhere I shouldn't have gone. Uh, Huck will get lectured all over again. What? So what if the old witch yells at me? Hook still has to prepare the gift for daddy. We found the treasure. Let's split. The monsters here give Hook goosebumps. Ooh, too scary. I'm warning you. Don't you dare tell the old witch about Hook's plan to sell the treasure. Jun Jun the cuddly bear. Oh no, it even looks sad. Here. Can you see the stars from here too? Hook, what are you... <clears throat> Natasha, um, Jun Jun's in bad shape. Can you help me fix him? I remember giving you Jun Jun. <laughs> I haven't seen this fella in years. Where did you find him? The... the wind brought him back Right. <laughs> Be honest with me, Hook. <sighs> Big Brother helped me find him in the Rivet Town Orphanage. You had him take you to the Fragmentum just for this teddy bear? Hook, how many times have I told you? Natasha, please. Please help me fix Jun Jun. I'll clean the clinic for you for a whole month. That should <sighs> you give you way more time, money than selling then... it. <laughs> Great, see you soon. Uh, big brother, I'll leave Jun Jun with you. What am I going to do with that girl? You shouldn't indulge her, outsider. Uh, uh, I know it's difficult to tell Hook no, but sometimes it just has to be done. <sighs> June, June. So she gave her bear a name, huh? I've lost count of all the dolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was an award I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. <sighs> Can you imagine what an orphanage is like with so many difficult children? I, mean, I had to come up with a solution to get them to behave. Huh? Hook pretended to be well behaved for a month in order to get Jun Jun. She ate on time, slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. Of course, as soon as she got her award, she went straight back to her <laughs> old self. <laughs> Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a skill, all right. And forcing her to be well-behaved puts a lid on it. Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help Hook repair Jun Jun. But I'll need to find some stuffing. Wait, look at the eyes. They must be... Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I saw What's them What's Erebus? I'm no appraiser, but these two gems look to be high quality. 
Well, our war-torn bear here just became a priceless doll. Not bad, Jun Jun. Okay. Strange. Wait, that gave us... Ready? And we get more... Hmm. Okay, might not get anything after this. Did the old witch yell at you? No. What? Why'd she only yell at Hawk? <sighs> Never mind that. You didn't tell her what I was really up to, did you? Great. Your loyalty as an honorary member of the Moles is acknowledged. Anyway, why are you still standing here, silly? Do you have something to report to the boss of the Moles? G gems? <gasps> Does that mean he's worth a lot of money? Incidentally, yes. Well, what are you talking about? Of course I do. If the gems are expensive, Hook can buy a better birthday gift for Daddy. <laughs> I don't want to keep June June's eyes. If some kid gets a June June with no eyes, they'll be sad, right? Anyhow, this is super useful intel. If you've been with the moles a bit longer, I'd be promoting you to third in command right now. I'll need your help again after Natasha fixes June June. Always be prepared to answer the call of Pitch Dark Hook the Great. And promotion. Tomorrow, Wildfell will host an auction near the vagrant camp on the outskirts of the robot settlement. Everyone in the underworld is invited. Buyers and vendors, please register with your real name prior to auction. If you want to know more, talk to our team members at the Boulder Town, Boulder Town News Office. Books gift. When we get this as a profile pic. What are we at? This is not going fast at all. I mean, I know I should be doing those quests, but doing them one after another is really... Ugh. That's what it is. How many... Okay. We need... Uh, okay, almost like 1,700 something. That's a lot. <laughs> How much do we get for one color? That's not right. Only 50. That's meh. That's like really, really meh. I'm a few of these. Like a little bit of everything, I guess. Oh, come on. Don't mess with next. 